Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Abdullah Kamal and I'm here today to show you how to use data validation to create drop down lists. Um, the data we have here shows employee records and uh, what we want to do in the future when we add new employees at the bottom of the table and come here to office location. We need to be able to select it from a list rather than writing it ourselves every time. So to do that, we need to convert our range here to a table. So we do that by um, selecting any cell within the range and then go to the home tab and go to format as table, select any design and make sure my table has headers been selected. When you have headers in your range, press OK. Your uh, range now is converted to a table. The next step you uh, create your master list and you do that by selecting the data that you already have um, so we copy it and then we go to uh, a new sheet and we paste it and we do the same as we've done before we format it as table and now it's formatted as table the only difference now we need to uh, name our table so we're gonna give it a name offices and uh, the reason for that is we're gonna refer to it later on so we need uh, a table name okay so we go back now and uh, we apply our data validation so we select the cells or all the cells where we want our data validation to be applied we go to the data tab and we go to the data validation and under allow here instead of any value select list and now to um, to refer to your master list okay which resides in a table called offices in a column called office location okay um, the, f the way to do it or one of the ways to do it is to click on this square and navigate to the table in sheet 9 here the one I have but we want we don't want to do that we, do, we want to do it the right way and the right way is to use a function called indirect so let's write the function and see what it does so the indirect function will actually ref, uh, enable us to refer to uh, our master list with the table name and the column name. So we write the indirect function and we put a quotation mark. This is needed for the indirect function. And now we write the table name offices we named it offices for our master list and uh, between brackets we write our uh, column name office location okay and we close it all right formula is done we press ok and now our list is available as you can see here so if we want to change the office location of, of any of the employees we have, we simply just select from the list that we have. Now the reason why we, we've um, formatted our range here as a table is to be able to add new offices in the future. So when we add New York here, for example, we add New York office you can see it's immediately added to the list here and it is also added to the list that we have here the selections you can see it here at the bottom it's available so the combination of the function indirect and formatting this table or this range as a table enabled us to add new offices and make that office available in the selection without going to the data validation again and changing the range and so in the future and and we actually formatted this table also 
or formatted this range as a table also because we want when we add a new uh, names for example let's add Don you see that the tables expanded to um, to contain the new employee name and at the same time the data validation of the last row expanded to the next row and this is really useful you don't need to go to data validation and expand your selection so we can assign down for example to New York okay um, so this is the way it's done uh, I hope you find this um, video uh, useful uh, if you do Please don't forget to subscribe and always come back for things like this in the future. Thank you so much.